ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் பிரசாத் பார்த்திபன் ஹாப்பி நியூ இயர் விஷஸ் டு யூ ஆல் ஐ ஆம் ஹாப்பி டு ஸ்டார்ட் ஜெனரேட்டிவ் ஏஐ சீரியஸ் ஸ்டார்டிங் திஸ் நியூ இயர் அண்ட் த ஃபஸ்ட் செஷன் வில் பி ஓவர் வியூ ஆன் வாட் இஸ் ஜெனரேட்டிவ் ஏஐ அண்ட் வாட் ஆர் த ஹை லெவல் கேட்டகரிஸ் தட் வில் பெனிஃபிட் ஃப்ரம் ஜெனரேட்டிவ் ஏஐ So first let's see what do you mean by generative AI. Before that it is very important you understand the bigger picture. When I say bigger picture, what is artificial intelligence? How generative AI is different from artificial intelligence? So artificial intelligence is actually a bigger picture where the name itself very clearly says instead of naturally having some kind of intelligence, we are having or we are giving artificial intelligence to machines right that's a intention of artificial intelligence so that it can think and do certain things without manual intervention in today's world we have computers whereas we need to externally program the computers to do certain things whereas in artificial intelligence it can think and do certain things that's the reason why we call them as artificial intelligence now artificial intelligence have multiple categories and one of them is machine learning so machine learning is a kind of subset of artificial intelligence where we give data attributes and then create algorithms right say for a high simple example if you give data attributes like name of the customer and their age and their purchase history and then come up with some kind of algorithm if this is a customer recommend them certain different products so that is why we call it as machine learning where we have algorithms and the supporting data variables to predict certain things most of the common examples i have worked on some projects where we did predictive analytics for insurance projects where if the claim history is certain data variables we say this is a high complex claim so that an adjuster has to look at it so it goes on like that but the long story short the concept here is you give data variables view algorithms together they kind of predict certain things now the next level is deep learning right now we saw ai which is a concept where we artificially give intelligence to the machine the second concept is machine learning we do this artificial intelligence by having data variables and algorithms the third level is deep learning where you have something like neural networks neural networks is nothing but a kind of concept which is used in human brains even within our brains we have neural networks which helps us to think and do certain things ourselves so that is a concept which is introduced in deep learning where computers can think and do certain things by themselves so that is the third layer now the fourth layer is what generative ai right within deep learning generative ai is where it can think like humans and generate content it can be text it can be image it can be audio coding etc etc the concept here is using neural networks it can think and again there are i'm not going in detail like we have large language model where we have large amount of data sets and large algorithms so that you take those data and then you start thinking and generating new data it's like this right you have artist a drawing artist looks at multiple images say he can come to my family and look my kids photo or my wife's photo or he can look at 10 different photos of our family and then he can come up with his own new kind of picture that shows how our family looks like right see he is looking at our data he is looking at our hundreds of pictures from our family photos and then he is coming up with his unique photo which he thinks in his brain same thing generate ai right we feed them lot of data and once it has data and the data algorithms generative ai can generate a new content which is not even in the kind of no market so that is what in high level generative ai means it generates content based on the historical data it learns and then it gets the reasonable reasoning capacity again as i told you the content or intention is not to go in detail this is a high level understanding of what do you mean by generative ai now coming to pnc how generative ai can be applied in pnc insurance right so as i told you pnc insurance is a regulated industry so it's very important that each and every use case that we do we take a cautioned approach so as i told you this is only a subset i just listed based on my experience a high level important areas but we have more 
categories. So sales and marketing, right? Most of us know the step one in any insurance business is either brokers working with the customers and getting their business or in personal lines, insurance company directly working with the customers and getting their business. We do have multiple use cases that can be used in sales and marketing. Underwriting is a core heart of ENC insurance and there also we can apply this generative AI concept in detail and get a lot of benefits. Dynamic pricing, right? We can have system price automatically based on the past history and we'll discuss more in our upcoming sessions. Customer service is a very important factor, right? Like if the customer has some kind of compliance or customer is happy about certain things, generate UI can understand that and then do certain things automatically. Risk control to make sure that we prevent their losses upfront instead of having claims in the future. Regulatory compliance, sending the data to the Department of Insurance through ISO, etc. Reinsurance, where we have our insurance company and we have a contract with the third party reinsurance company. There also we can have generative AI. Claims, again, claims is a very important area where we can avoid a lot of fraudulent activities by applying generative AI, like reading a lot of documentations automatically. Long story short, again, so in the coming sessions, I'll be taking each of this and then going in detail about use cases. But I just wanted to kickstart this session today where we will talk in detail about generative AI and their use cases. When I say underwriting, I'll have a separate session saying what are the different use cases within underwriting where we can apply generative AI and how it can be applied so that you get a clear understanding of generative AI and its use cases in PNC insurance. Today's session is to just kickstart this discussion where what is generative AI, what are the high level use cases and in the coming sessions, I'll be taking each of this and then going in detail about how generative AI can benefit PNC insurance in at a overall high level. Thank you all. Take care. Bye-bye.